you details about the death of Tyree Nichols. It's been nearly a month since Nichols died after being beaten by five Memphis police officers during a traffic stop. But some newly released documents are shedding some new light. NBC News correspondent Antonia Hilton joins us now live from Memphis. Hey, Antonia, so police released what are these internal affairs documents on Tuesday, and they get into very graphic detail about the behavior of the officers that night. Tell us new information that we learned from these. That's right, Savannah. So NBC has obtained these documents that are decertification documents that were filed to a regulatory agency here in Tennessee as part of an effort to make sure that these officers would be unable to serve as officers here in the state ever again. And there's a number of issues and allegations in these documents, but the one that has most disturbed residents here that I've been talking to this morning is that Demetrius Haley, one of the central five officers now charged with second degree murder in this case, used his personal cell phone to take two photos of Tyrene after he was beaten and bloodied and slumped over, as many of us saw in the video. And that he texted them to numerous people, including some who were colleagues, but others who had no connection to the police department or to the city at all. He admitted to superiors to sending these photos to five people, but investigation found that he sent them to six. So the department laid this out as part of this essential case to argue that this person was not only knowingly violating department protocol, but you know, not fit to be a police officer here in Tennessee any longer. And as I've talked to people here today, the word that keeps coming up is evil, disgusting. Mm. People knew how bad they, many of them have seen the video, but the idea that someone would take a video or, or a photo, excuse me, of someone beaten to the extent that Tyree Nichols was and share that with people in the community, they're having trouble, frankly, processing it right now, Savannah. Absolutely, just yet another layer of heartbreak here. And of course, it makes you wonder what his family's thinking and feeling hearing that, knowing that an image like that was shared of their son. And Tyree Nichols' parents were at the State of the Union last night, of course, as the guests of President Biden. He said something good must come from his death. But have we heard from them on these revelations about the fact that this image was sent? You know, Savannah, I was thinking the same thing as this news came out last night, and then we all watched the family sitting there. And while, in a way, it was great to see them recognize, people give them a standing ovation. I also had a moment there where I was thinking to myself, imagine being this family, and one week you're going from having dinner with your son, he and his father went to the same job every day, worked many of the same shifts together, mm. to now being on the national stage, coming to D.C., and everyone watching you mourn publicly. Right. The family hasn't commented yet directly on Demetrius Haley texting these photos, uh, but they have made clear to make sure that people in the community, as they have discussed these things, know that as the family knows, and their attorneys and the DA knows at this point, there's no personal connection between Demetrius Haley and Tyree Nichols. And that's been a major thing. They want people to not spread rumors about this. Mm -hmm. and they want them to remain focused on the facts of this case here out of respect for the family and the case. Absolutely. Antonia, what an observation to think there about that family being in that room, though it's not ever a conversation they want it to be a part of. Thank you so much for your reporting, Antonia. All right. There you go. There you go. This saying is not true. And until we get proof, proof, until we get proof, we're going to say it's not true. Stop spreading this rumor. Stop it. Y'all are being distracted by the real problem. And let me tell you what the real problem is here. The real problem is the leadership of the Memphis Police Department. But nobody wants to talk about that. But that is the true problem. Like I've said before, the fish is rotting from the head. And in order to save the body, you got to cut off the head. Here's my thing. We have a police chief that made that culture that is the culture you have to change the culture that's it that's how you change this police department is to change the head of the police department change the culture have a new culture in there get these guys checked out mental health exams at least once a year to make sure that they are stable to hit the streets. You have to remember that these people are human too. They have real human 
problems just like we do. And they're on a high stress job. You can't, we can't look at them like they're just totally Superman or something. You got to know that these guys are going through the same exact, the same thing that you might be going through, or you might be going through, or you might be going through that officer may be going through the same thing. And when you're having a bad day and you're at work, you don't like fooling with other people all the time. So just think if you were a police officer and you had to start fooling with, with people and you're having, you're already having a bad day. Guess what? This day might just get worse for somebody. All right, let's get into this, man. All right. Where was I? Uh, that revelation was contained in documents released Tuesday as part of of a memphis police department request to decertify the five officers charged in the brutal january 7th assault on nichols decertification means the former officers can no longer serve as police anywhere in the state demetrius haley one of the five officers fired on january 20th sent the photo according to the document he was also the officer who physically forced Nichols out of his vehicle during the initial traffic stop and deployed his chemical irritant spray directly close up to the subject's eyes. Documents from Memphis Police Inspectional Service Bureau said. This dude is just straight evil. So he was the initial one that grabbed him out of the car. He was the one that pepper sprayed him. He was the one that took the pictures. The culture of this police department is evil. It's evil. Now, I know people say, well, he was the first one. He was the first one to grab him out. It had to be personal. We don't have that proof. Find proof. Somebody, somebody send me a link. Send me a link of a credible source that is saying that this is true. Show me some, show me something. Until then, I'm not going to say that Tyree was messing with his ex-wife or ex-girlfriend or whoever. 